All right, just another video comparing a steel hood versus an aluminum hood and hood flutter at highway speeds, more particularly 70 miles an hour or higher. Um, or if you're passing by a big truck or if a big truck passes you or if you're behind a big truck, whatever. The wind will get underneath the hood and it'll lift it. I noticed that with my Ford. That's why I got rid of the Ford and went with an 18 Ram because I wanted a steel hood. Um, so again, I'm gonna demonstrate again. Um, as a matter of fact, we'll go to my, my truck first. So put your fingers underneath, right? One, I can't, like it's squeezing my fingers, I can't. But I can try to lift and it's uh, it is not lifting. Like you, it, it will not lift, okay? And my, I have small hands, remember, small hands. And I cannot lift the hood. Now, 19 Ram aluminum hood, again, demonstrate watch carefully and then you get here look at that look at that lift that is a lot of lift on these trucks so that's why i went back to an 18 ram because one it's my fourth cummins i'm a cummins guy but two i wanted a steel body i it really irritated me watching my hood flutter at highway speeds um and I, I, I give all the credit to the, to the manufacturers. Aluminum will help save some weight. Like, I got it. But, you know, what these manufacturers need to do is they need, they need to put two hood latches. Maybe one here and one here. I think BMW has two hood latches or three. Uh, or three, yeah. Put a, a latch here, one in the center, and then one in the corner. That'll help minimize the hood flutter. Um, and, by the way, you can do this little trick with all the manufacturers, Ford, Ram, GM. Every manufacturer that has a aluminum hood, you, you can easily put your fingers underneath and lift the hood. And you can, as you saw, there was a lot of lift in that hood, like a lot. Um, but on the steel hood, you can't do it. It's very difficult. So anyways, that is why your hood flutters at highway speeds. It's because of the lightweight aluminum hood.